This is the fundamentals of side plank, specifically for glenohumeral joint, your shoulder joint. So side plank's an excellent position for abdominal stabilization, glute stabilization, and shoulder scapular stabilization, but the shoulder blade tends to fall forward and we tend to pinch in the shoulder joint and it can contribute to increased pathology or it won't be as beneficial when we prescribe side planks for you. So I'm gonna walk you through the basics. There's a three-step progression of how to get in a proper shoulder stabilization position. So I'm gonna zoom in on my shoulder so you see the intricacies because they're very small movements, but Good luck with it. It's not that hard. Just make sure your shoulder bone and your shoulder blade are stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna go into side plank, a like a regressed side plank. So I'm just on my hips. This is the learning how to get into proper shoulder blade positioning through all three steps. So for now, just rest. This is how a lot of people watch TV where their shoulder bone is falling forwards and their shoulder blade is falling downwards. They actually can be pinching, increasing their impingement in their shoulder. Take your fingers of your other hand and do a little hamburger grip. Feel the shoulder bone right there and feel the shoulder blade right there. So I'm about two inches sticking forward and just stretching out all this stuff and compressing everything down here. The more I am in this position, the the more restricted I am going to be in the back. And in your appointment, you know how restricted it is back here and how important that is for overhead mobility. So step one is saying, can we push our elbow into the ground? And think about, just lift your rib cage. <coughs> lift your rib cage off the floor, off the bed, off the yoga mat, as much as possible. So you're trying to get the most amount of space between your rib cage and your side as possible. Look at the shoulder itself. Now it's here and here. So we already gained about an inch just by sinking that upwards. So when you go into your plank positions, really think drive your rib cage upwards. The second part is a little, it's a little bit more tricky. You wanna actually rotate your body so your shoulder goes backwards. Think about bringing your chest a little closer to the ground. And look, you can see shoulder bone, shoulder blade, everything's stacked on top of each other, so everything's working immensely. I feel much more burn in my rotator cuff, in my serratus, and in my uh, the front of my rotator cuff. So everything's working as it should. Still have to think, lift that rib cage up as far as possible, and keep my chest rotated. Not many people should do planks in this position. You can, but I wouldn't advise it. What I want you to think now is keep your hamburger grip here. Keep that shoulder blade sucked backwards and start to rotate your chest up to the ceiling and you can start to see that's where my fatigue comes in. So this is just learning how to get into proper side planks. So let's see if I kept it. Shoulder bone, shoulder blade, kept it. So I feel that still deep burn in rotator cuff, serratus, everything around my shoulders burning rather than just being here trying to do a side plank, letting that fall forward. It makes sense a little bit. So I want you to think, as you get better, you'll learn how to just pull that in the socket, hold it there, and then you'll go into side plank positioning, keeping it from being there. But to learn, rib cage up, rotate under, keep it locked, then begin to rotate your chest up to the ceiling, keeping this from falling forward, even subtly sinking downwards and you'll feel that fall forwards. This will really burn here, here, and even burn your shoulder blade muscles because they're keeping your rib cage from sinking under. That's what that push up from the rib cage does. So this is like a lateral push up. This is the basics of side plank. If you have any questions, let us know. But when in doubt, just grab your shoulder bone, grab your shoulder blade, and they should be stacked on top of each other. So I'm not right now, so I need to sink backwards a little bit more. Woo, there's that burn. Sink it up. Now we're stacked on top of each other. Fix my rib cage, open it up. There we go. You can see my arm shaking at least. That's a nice position. I'm just in like a regressed side plank. I'm resting on my hips. If you have any questions, like I said, let us know. It's a very, very great exercise, side planks. But we need to teach that shoulder blade how to be stable. Good luck.